Hello, my loves. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss May. In my channel, I do a variety of lifestyle videos, vlog videos, food review videos, and here comes the best Trader Joe's grocery haul videos. Ta da! Here comes another huge. Huge Trader Joe's haul. I just came back from the Trader Joe's. I got so many great items, a lot of repurchases, and a lot of new finds. I'm so excited to try them out as well. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out any other content. And after today's video, don't forget to check out other Trader Joe's hauls and a lot of other food review videos from Trader Joe's and Costco. All right, without further ado, let's get into today's video. If you've been following me for a while, I use these religiously and last time I tried to find them but I couldn't find them because I felt like sometimes they ran out but this time I found them again so I bought two of these. These are the Trader Joe's multi-purpose cleaner and these are in the cedar wood and sage scent. This is plant derived cleaning power, it's biodegradable and it cuts through the grease. Oh, these are so good and I've been using a lot of different like cleaning sprays and none of them smell as good as these. These are cedar wood and sage. They smell so incredible. They're not overwhelmingly like super strong scent. Um, it's very natural scent as well and uh, it's just so good and it just works like magic. It cleans everything and yeah and it's biodegradable so I feel better when using these to clean. <sighs> Summer is here, I need to clean the house a little bit more, I need to start to cultivate the habit of cleaning. So there we go, we're gonna have one upstairs, one downstairs. We still have another one, actually. I think it's right here. Ta-da! So this is like, we almost ran out this bottle. It actually, it goes pretty good. I think one bottle lasts about three months if you clean a lot. So I've been using these to clean the bathroom counter, the kitchen counter, and it everything and it works really really well and the scent is very subtle but it smells really refreshing and i absolutely love the cedar wood and say honestly i'm not a huge fan of lemon scented cleaning products and for some reason every time i smell the lemon scented cleaning products it just, it just reminds me of like public bathroom i don't know i it's bad <laughs> association established in my mind but these smells so incredible so this is the bottle i already have and i'm running out so i got two new bottles and i'm so 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 excited the next item is also a repurchase item this is the trader joe's sparkling black tea with peach juice beverage these are so incredible and i also saw these on the shelf where a lot of trader joe's employee they share their favorites and it's like monthly favorites shelf and these are so freaking good i bought these last time and it was so good and it was so amazing so basically what these are is that these are black tea but it's sparkling black tea so carbonated black tea and instead of using like artificial sweetener or a lot of sugar, they just give you a little bit of peach juice, 5% of peach juice. So the actual flavor comes from the peach juice. If you look at the ingredients, it's really, really simple. So basically you just have black tea, the carbonation, the peach juice, and a little bit of acid to maintain the color, to maintain, to maintain the acidity. But this one is so incredible. What I love about this product is that it's sweet enough, but it's not overwhelmingly sweet. And it's also like a lot of like carbonation. So it's so refreshing. It's like that summer peach vibe with summer iced tea with soda, like in combination together. And you have to try this. So it's not the cheapest, it's a $1 per can, but if you have a bad day in summer, drink these chilled with ice or drink it from the fridge amazing it's just gonna make your day trust me on this buy these so the next product it's actually my first time trying this so i usually buy the blood oranges from our local grocery store but they stopped carrying them but this time i went to trader joe's and i saw these these are the red moral oranges the moral orange so essentially if you look at the orange they're instead of like being orange they're actually like plum-ish reddish orange it was like it's like orange with like red dots essentially this is like blood orange or red orange or purple orange i don't know if it's the same one that i had before with when it comes to the blood oranges but supposedly these are sweeter than the regular oranges so i'm so excited to try this out i don't think i saw this last time when i was in trader joe's so i'm so excited 
Here we go. Hopefully it's sweeter. I'm so excited. I love blood oranges. I feel like sometimes I love oranges. Other times I feel like they're a little bit too sour. But the blood oranges, they're like the perfect combination of sweetness and tartness and sourness. Perfect. But hopefully these are good. Yeah. Right, the next product is also a repurchase. This is the Trader Joe's Rice Cracker Medley. I, I buy them religiously throughout the years. And what I do is I bring these to work and I like the fact that these are resealable so I don't need to find the clip or I'm trying to like fold it or like conceal it with a vacuum sealer. So perfect for office snacks. And these are made of rice instead of like flour. And it has a little bit of wasabi peas in there, but the overall flavor is kind of like vinegar and chewy soy sauce. It's not too salty. And if you look at the nutrition facts, each serving is 110 calories with zero gram of fat, which is great. And a little bit of sugar, but of course this is like, carbs mainly carbs but these are so crunchy and if you are a fan of rice cracker this is going to be your favorite and it's actually way more affordable than a lot of the other rice crackers from the local like grocery stores or international foods so my speculation is that a lot of the rice crackers are actually imported from Asia, like from Japan. And when they're importing these, they have to pay extra taxes and shipping versus these are actually Trader Joe's own brand. So definitely it's cheaper, more affordable compared to the other rice crackers. So I'm so excited repurchase religiously. I'm going to bring it to work. It's actually really funny. Uh, one day I was like, in my cubicle, crunch, 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 crunch. And then my coworker, he was like, what are you eating? I was like, oh, rice cracker. And he's like, rice cracker let me see the bag i was like da da and he's like it's so funny it says rice cracker on the back i was like yeah these are rice crackers these are so good highly highly recommend da -da, the next product this is actually the first time i purchased this in trader joe's i was gonna go to costco i was like oh they have everything i needed this week in trader joe's so let's just go to costco next week and i saw these this is the great lakes Gelatin Co. Gelatin. Great Lakes Gelatin Co. So this is not Trader Joe's brand. This is a collagen hydrolistate. Collagen hydrolistate. Grass-fed and pasture-raised. And this is the unflavored. So recently I watched a YouTube video. I know, like I'm one of those people who buy things based on YouTube videos and reviews and everything. But hey, that's why we watch this video. That's why I make these videos. So recently I bought these from um, Thrive Market. So the video I watched is from a dermatologist and he said that research shows that um, when you put collagen on your face, it's not going to improve your skin because collagen actually has really big molecules. It's not really easy to be absorbed by your skin. But instead of like putting collagen cream on your skin, take the collagen peptides and it's going to increase your bone health and the skin health. So recently I bought these from Thrive Market and this is the Thrive Market grass-fed collagen peptides. And this one is no flavor and no added hormones. And it's, you know, grass-fed. And Honestly, initially I felt like, oh, I don't like protein powder, I'm probably not gonna like this. But it's actually really good and these are actually individually packaged from Thrive Market. But I didn't continue my membership from Thrive Market just because I felt like I don't buy enough to save money there. I love their products, but I just felt like I don't buy enough products on there to have enough savings to cover the membership. So I discontinued, but I still feel bad. Like I wish that I could, you know, repurchase these from Thrive Market. But I saw these from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to give it a try. So this one, it says it's unflavored as well. You can buy the collagen peptides with flavor, but I felt like it's just going to alter the drink flavor. If I make a coffee and want it to taste like coffee, I don't want to taste like vanilla coffee unless I put vanilla milk, right? So supposedly this is going to help you with joint health. It's great for post-workout recovery and it also promotes healthy skin and strong hair and nails. I've been taking the collagen peptides from Thrive Market for the past uh, two weeks, almost two weeks, a little bit over 10 days. And let me tell you, I can actually see a difference because I work out every single day, like very intense workout. And I used to have pretty bad sore after my workout. But ever since I take these collagen peptides, I stopped having those like super bad sore. The next day, I don't feel like my joints are like 
tearing apart. I do see a great benefit of taking these for post-workout because it's basically protein. It's collagen protein. So I do see a benefit. I do see myself. I experienced the benefits of eating them or taking them as post-workout um, supplements. I haven't seen anything on my skin because again like it's not like I have super bad skin. I just have acne skin and acne marks but I mostly take these for joint health and post-workout recovery, but hopefully in 10 years, I will age gracefully and I will have beautiful skin thanks to those. So I don't know, this is the first time I buy these from this brand. I was going to buy the one on Costco, but I actually really enjoy this one from Thrive Market. And yeah, so this one is actually really affordable. It's only $9.99, $10. Um, it's 16 servings per container. And these are like, 20 packets so 20 servings and these are like more expensive but these are of course like individually packaged as well so we'll see if this one is as good as this i highly recommend the ones that i already taken but this is the first time i try these i'll let you know if it's actually as good da -da -da. Oh, recently i've been addicted to seaweed i've always loved seaweed like i love to snack on seaweed ever since i was a little girl i always love the seaweed snacks but sometimes this craving so for a seaweed it comes and goes but recently oh, i just i i just can't i think of them when i don't have them so i bought three bags of seaweed snacks these are the wasabi flavor Ta da um these are probably cheaper at Costco, but they don't have the wasabi flavor, so I got these. Um, roasted seaweed snack. I'm gonna bring these to work. I just love that salty sea food, sea like taste. It's just so good. So we're gonna, you know, bring these to work. So I got three packs of those. These are, these are really healthy. The only fat in these snacks is because, like, they use oil when they roast them, mainly sesame oil, I guess. Wait, let me see. What oil do they use? Oh, pressed canola oil which is great sesame oil yes of course it has sesame oil because i can taste the sesame oil come on i'm asian i put sesame oil when i cook so i know what it tastes like so uh, if you look at this this one has a seaweed a canola oil wasabi seasoning and the sesame oil and sea salt it doesn't have any like um palm oil or anything and this one is a product of korea so yeah Highly, highly recommend. They also have a flavor that's not wasabi flavor. So if you don't like wasabi, I know not everyone likes wasabi or mustard. You can actually get the other flavor, but I love something spicy. I love spicy seaweed flavor. So we got one of those. Well, actually, we got three of those. I was gonna buy five, but I felt like it's a little bit expensive or pricey. I'm probably just gonna go to Costco to buy the whole pack eventually. And we're thinking about going to Houston for um, Chinese food, Chinatown. I'll probably go to different Asian grocery stores there just to shop. It's probably gonna be cheaper. I don't know. So we'll see. You'll see the haul coming soon. The next two products. I love matcha green tea and Ta-da! These are the two matcha green tea items, except for the ones in a can. These are the two products of matcha green tea powder sold at Trader Joe's. The first one is actually pure. This is a Trader Joe's matcha green tea powder. And this one is actually really great because it has seven single serve packets. These are pure matcha green tea powder. It doesn't have anything else. It doesn't have any like sugar or cream or whatever. So if you want anything pure, I highly recommend these, but this is definitely more expensive this is like seven dollars for seven packs so it's kind of like one dollar per pack versus these this is a matcha green tea latte mix um instead of you know being the pure matcha green tea this one is actually mixed with other powders with sugar so if you look at right here it's made of cane sugar coconut oil uh, matcha green tea whole milk powder not fat milk powder malted milk powder natural flavors and this and that so this one actually has a bunch of like coconut oil and also like powder uh, milk powder and if you look at the ingredients if they list the ingredients from the most to the least it's cane sugar there's more cane sugar than the actual green tea so if you have diabetes or if you're on a low sugar diet i don't recommend these i definitely recommend the one that's like pure but if you don't care about sugar intake uh, i bought this for my mother-in-law last week uh, two weeks ago actually 
And she said that these are actually really strong. And she said even though it came with a lot of sugar, she still had to put a little bit of sweetener in there. So it really depends on if you prefer something more like bitter or something sweet. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna make the pure powder at home um, because you know I have all the ingredients that I need. But when I go to work, if I'm craving for a matcha green tea latte, I can probably microwave some water and mix some of these. So I'll probably bring these to work. This one's in a single packet. These are a pure matcha powder. You probably need to process yourself, like put a little bit of milk and sweetener. Versus this one, it comes with sweetener and creamer and milk powder. But at the same time, there's a ton of sugar in there. So your discretion, your choice. So whether you want to choose low carb or um, choose the flavor and convenience. Um, because I really love the sparkling black tea, I actually bought like a lot of them, like a lot, a lot of them because they're not sold anywhere else. I haven't seen any other brands that did something so genius like this. Like this is a genius idea, sparkling black tea, sparkling ice black tea with peach juice. It's just so amazing. Like everything's so natural and yeah, such a great idea. And also I think our Trader Joe's ran out of their Trader Joe's bag so they were giving us a brown bag without the handle. It was a little bit hard to bring these from the car but hey, still works. So we have three more bags. I, I bought a lot. Because we don't get to go to Trader Joe's a lot because the traffic going to Trader Joe's is absolutely horrible. Uh, our Trader Joe's is located by 1604 in San Antonio. If you live in San Antonio, the 1604 traffic is absolutely horrible every single day. So just saying. So that's why I always like hoard things, like stock up things. I went to the Trader Joe's employees favorites or employees favorite spot or the shelf. I saw these. I was like, hmm, this is interesting because summer is coming and I love, love watermelon juice and I love carbonated water. And I felt like this could be a great idea because this is the sparkling watermelon juice, sparkling watermelon juice. So I really wanted to try it. And I was like, oh, I'll probably like, don't have time next week to go, so I'll just buy a lot. Um, I hope I like it. So today we're gonna try it together. So basically, if you look at the ingredients, it has watermelon juice, carbon dioxide, citric, um, and acid to maintain the color. It looks pretty good, and it's, each can is only 60 calories. So if you don't mind drinking a little bit of sugar in summer, if, especially after a workout, it's probably gonna be okay. So let's try this. Hmm. It's really, really refreshing, but it's a sour. It's definitely sour. It's definitely more sour than the regular watermelon juice. Hmm. Really, really refreshing. Kind of tastes like the watermelon flavored fruit ice cream bar or watermelon fruit sorbet bars. It's actually really, really good. But if you're not a fan of sour drink, this is not for you. If you don't like one of those like cranberry juice, blueberry juice, or lemonade, this is probably not for you. Cause it's not too sweet, but it's definitely a little bit sour. But I really like it. Hmm. This is probably not something I would drink every single day as water. Cause just imagine your teeth is gonna take a big hit because of all of the acid in this one. But it's actually really good. Really recommend, really refreshing, really recommend, but only if you like something that's sour. So so this is what it looks like. Go hunt for these, hunt for these. Last time I bought a jerky pack from Trader Joe's. It was amazing. I finished one bag within two days. It's not too bad actually. So the serving size, each container is like four servings, 3.5 servings. So it's like I eat two servings per day, which is not too bad. And these are really filling as well. So this time, I bought the one I got last time and I bought a new flavor. This is a Trader Joe's a Natural Buffalo Jerky and this is natural smoke flavoring added. The first one is sweet and spicy. This one tastes so, so good. So, so, so good. It is definitely a little bit on the spicier side, but hey, I love something like hot and sour. Hot and sour, yeah. Sweet and spicy, it's very good. Sweet and spicy, sweet and hot, hot and spicy. Oh, but this is really good. And this time I also saw that they have this turkey jerky and I got the flavor teriyaki, which is definitely also pretty sweet, I wanna say. I know if I wanna be truly healthy or eat truly healthy, I probably should watch my sugar intake, but 
Oh, the flavor is just so good. Teriyaki, good. Sweet and spicy, good. So I got a beef jerky and a turkey jerky. If you look at the nutrition facts, um, it's basically zero fat. Like the fat content is very low. The protein content is very high. A little bit of cholesterol here and there. Not bad, not bad. Because I my cholesterol level is off the chart low, which makes me not really worry about cholesterol. I worry more about sugar because like my glucose is a little bit on the higher side. Um, so then I want to say each serving has 270 milligrams of sodium and 280 milligrams of sodium. So definitely a high sodium content, but it's definitely a little bit better than a lot of other brands I want to say. And also as long as you don't eat the whole bag, <laughs> Well, it might happen, it may happen, but as long as you don't eat the whole bag, it's not the worst, so. So I got two jerkies. Highly, highly recommend the sweet and spicy beef jerky because I already had it, and this time I want to try something new. I'm sure it's going to be great. More, more, more. Okay, this time I also saw this noodle. I wanted to try it, probably make a dedicated video because there was a time when I was obsessed with ramen like Costco ramen, Trader Joe's ramen, and instant ramen, frozen ramen and like now it's summer I'm not as obsessed because like usually in the winter I love like a bowl of hot ramen soup it's just so good um, but now it's summer but I still wanted to try this this is a Trader Joe's instant ramen soup and I saw there are multiple flavors there's like one chicken flavor one is like regular ramen soup flavor and this is the spicy miso soup I love spicy ramen, so I instantly picked this one. Uh, I mainly look at the nutrition facts. It says four grams of fat, which is not bad. No saturated fat, which is not bad. Um, three grams of fiber, one gram of added sugar, eight grams of protein. Of course, this is like mainly carbs, 34 grams of carbohydrate, and 200 calories per serving per ramen bowl. This is a small, very cute ramen bowl, if you didn't notice. It's probably not gonna be your whole meal. You're probably gonna eat some protein and vegetables on the side, but this is just probably your carb intake for the meal because it's not even as big as my head. Well, not my head, my face, okay? So when I look at this, it looks like it's going to be a good product. You can just put water and microwave or you can just put boiling water and it looks pretty good. The only thing I would say is that their sodium content is super high, it's 850 milligrams, but don't worry too much about the sodium because what I do is actually, I think it's like a common knowledge in Asian countries because we grew up eating those instant ramen. So we are told by a lot of like our family members or even teachers to say like, oh, just put like a third of the seasoning pack to try. If it's not enough, put like half. If it's not enough, add a little bit more, but nobody would ever put a whole pack of seasoning in a ramen bowl because they always give you more than you need because just in case, you know, like somebody needs it. So um, my husband actually didn't know it. Like he always put the whole bag he's like you're supposed to do it but like in asia we actually just put a little bit and try it put a little bit more uh, we usually don't put the whole pack so instead of putting the 850 milligrams of salt i'll probably just put like 400 milligrams of salt which is probably not as bad so there we go i'm so excited to try this out hopefully it tastes good Ta -da! okay so i just want to say i bought these because they're right next to the watermelon these are so cute i feel like trader joe's definitely does a really good job in their marketing and packaging because these are so cute and summery colors when i see them i just want to conceal them because you know it's summer so i got the sparkling watermelon juice so on the side i saw the sparkling strawberry juice beverage i was like huh I love strawberry and these are so pink, so pink. So I was like, okay, I wanted to try this as well. I wanted to try this. So let's try this as well. Don't worry, I will finish them because my husband always loves to drink those juice. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I actually really like this one. Definitely on the sour side but I actually like this one. Wow, so the strawberry beverage contains 80% of the juice and the watermelon one contains 100% of the juice. So strawberry flavor actually has 
water in there to dilute the strawberry juice because I felt like the strawberry juice is probably going to be more sour and that's why they put like 20% of water versus the watermelon juice has like 100% of juice in there they didn't put additional water but I actually like the strawberry one more this one tastes like candy the strawberry flavor, oh, it tastes like candy and I love the carbonation in these beverages just because you know it's so refreshing in the summer. Just imagine you have a really hot day. <laughs> it just imagine you have a really bad day and it's summer, you drive from work, it's super hot in your car, you come home, you go to your fridge, and then you cheers, and then oh, so refreshing. I actually like the strawberry one more, so highly recommend the strawberry one. It tastes a little bit better than the watermelon. I'll have my husband to try both to see which one he likes more. Okay, so we got more and more of these drinks you know just in case i like them i buy extra when i bought these i felt like somewhere in my heart i know i would like them my favorite is still the sparkling black tea with peach juice because i felt like these are slightly healthier each can is only 15 calories and i really like the black tea taste and because of the caffeine content in the black tea i felt like these are more addictive and i got some bananas organic bananas always buy them when they're green i also got some these are the MV apples, perishable. So, all right, let's continue. We have more, more, more goodies in there, more goodies. The first one is mango chunk. You should know by now we love mangoes and we religiously buy these from Trader Joe's because they're pre-cut. I'm so excited. For sure, we're going to make a dedicated video reviewing this item because we're Chinese, we love cha siu bao and this is from the brand, repeat after me, Trader Means. My name is Ming by the way. So I'm so excited to give it a review, give it a try to let you know what it really tastes like because I've actually made cha siu bao by myself at home and it tastes incredible. All you need is to get a cha siu barbecue pork and then get the baos and then mix them with like different stuffings and there you go, there we have it. But is it going to be as good as the one I make it? <sighs> we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so these are the Chinese style pork buns, the actual cha siu bells. I am so excited to try it out. You can microwave or steam, and of course, always go with the steam. And this one has the four servings. Each bao has 160 calories. The bao looks pretty legit. From the bag, it has a little bit of wrapper so it doesn't get stuck on the steamer. So this is how we do it traditionally in China. We put like a little cloth or we put some like filter, coffee filter paper right here. And then I am so excited to try this chassis bao from Trader Means. I'll definitely make a video. I'm so excited. Something I can actually make. I am not a good chef when it comes to a lot of food, but when it comes to Chinese food, say no more. I can do it. Okay, so this one is the Trader Joe's Organic Shredded Green and Red Cabbage with orange carrots. I use these to stir fry, and of course you can make coleslaw with these. And the next one, I'm so excited to try this one as well. This is the Trader Joe's Japanese Style Fried Rice. Previously, we've tried the Trader Joe's Chinese Style Fried Rice, the Chicken Fried Rice, and it was really good. And this time, I want to try this Japanese Style Fried Rice. And this one, I want to say first impression, it's actually pretty fatty. <laughs> it has quite a bit of fat and a lot of the sodium. Oh my gosh, so the whole bag, has 1,720 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot of sodium, wow. Okay, I'm having second thoughts. And 22 grams of protein. But this one, it says it's Japanese style because it has agamami, uh, tofu, and seaweed. I was like, seaweed? I love seaweed, let's try it. But this is a lot of sodium and fat content in this Japanese style fried rice. But maybe it will taste really good. So I will let you know, probably make a dedicated video reviewing this. But first impression, is definitely not the healthiest thing you could eat. So just letting you know, not healthy, but possibly tastes good. Oh, I'm so excited. This is Trader Joe's Korean inspired bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi. <sighs> Need I say more? I love bulgogi beef. I love fried rice. And this one has kimchi, vegetables, grilled beef, and rice, I guess. Um, let's see the content. 
Oh my gosh, this is even less healthy. <gasps> I'm gonna faint. This one has quite a bit of fat. Uh, almost 2,000 milligrams of sodium. 1,960 uh, milligrams of sodium for the whole pack. Don't eat the whole pack by yourself. Maybe eat a third. Maybe eat a third of it or a quarter of it. It's definitely doable. 19 grams of protein. Wow, that's a lot of sodium. Just want to say. So I just want to say that a lot of times these frozen foods are really delicious. Even though like going to a restaurant probably tastes a little bit better, but these frozen foods are really convenient and really affordable and taste really good. But definitely be careful with the sodium content because a lot of times they put a lot of sodium in there and try to maybe portion control it. So I am very excited to try it, but definitely not healthy. Not healthy. I got the paella. These are actually pretty healthy, I want to say, I think. These are actually pretty healthy. So last time when we went to the Trader Joe's, I got one bag of the seafood paella from Trader Joe's and taste amazing. These taste amazing and it was so good. It has shrimp, it has other seafood and the flavor is just so amazing. The flavor is the same as a lot of restaurants and these are way more affordable compared to those restaurants. So I got it again. This one is definitely on the healthier side. Each bag has three servings, but if you just combine the three servings, the whole bag is 1,000 milligrams of sodium. This is 1,000 milligrams compared to, this is 2,000 milligrams. 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 2,000 milligrams. I feel like sometimes it's not even necessary to put that much sodium for the flavor because I actually, don't think I need it because these are really flavorful. These are so, so, so good. One thing I want to say is that the shrimps inside of these payayas are definitely on the smaller side. So these are smaller shrimps instead of those jumbo shrimp, but it doesn't bother me. It's so pretty, pretty good. The flavor, oh, so good. So amazing. So I got that's a beat. The next one, oh, the next one is super good. This one you have to try. You have to try. These are perfect to bring into lunch. I bought two this time because last time I felt like it was so good. These are the Trader Joe's Sriracha Shrimp Bowls. These are shrimp with Asian style vegetables over brown rice and red rice and with spicy sriracha sauce. These bowls have some vegetables and these shrimps are actually jumbo shrimps. Jumbo, jumbo shrimp. So these are definitely really good for the good value. Each box is like, 320 calories, eight grams of fat, 15 grams of protein, uh, 40, 47 grams of carbohydrates, or 35 milligrams of cholesterol, which is okay. And sodium is 690 milligrams. I feel like for 690 grams, it's probably okay. Definitely not the 1000 ones. One that I got is the Trader Joe's Cuban style citrus garlic bow. Ta-da! This one, it says it has juicy chicken thigh with seasoned rice and black beans, plantains in a zesty citrus and garlic sauce. This one is 400 calories, 18 grams of fat, 540 milligrams of sodium, which is definitely low for frozen food, and 16 grams of protein. So I'm actually really excited about this one. This is the ultimate challenge, ultimate challenge. So recently we've tried the cauliflower crust pizza from Costco and it's from the brand Milton's and it was absolutely amazing. So the challenge is up. Is this one going to replace the one from Costco? Dun dun dun, question, challenge. Let's try this out. So this one is gluten free. It's cheese pizza with cauliflower crust. And honestly, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty thin, but I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna taste the same as or better than the one from Costco. The challenge is up. So we'll see if this one is as good or better or not. The next one, we got the pepperoni because my husband was like, if you wanna make cheese pizza, I want pepperonis on top. I actually don't like pepperonis that much, but hey, he's love it. He's, he's got it. Steamed pork and ginger soup dumplings from Trader Joe's. These are so, so, so good. Recently, I made a dedicated video reviewing this item and we used the steamer and it tastes so good. So, so, so good. It tastes just like the soup dumpling. Though I would say that, you know, because it's a frozen dumplings, the wrap, the bun looks a little bit on the harder side or chewier. Because every time you freeze the starch, 
it will actually change the molecule, the structure of the molecule, and the texture actually gets altered. But this one is the closest when it comes to flavor to a real soup dumpling. So highly, highly, highly recommend. If you haven't watched my review video of this one, definitely watch it after today's video. It's so amazing. Ah! Oh my gosh, we have one more bag. I know I did buy a lot, <laughs> but everything is so good. Okay, this one is the Trader Joe's Miso Vegetable and Brown Rice Saute Kit. Highly recommend, definitely eat something fresh and healthy. It has a bag of brown rice within, and it'll just saute the whole kit, put the dressing and put the brown rice. The miso flavor, it's so amazing. It tastes really fresh, really flavorful with all different types of textures from the rice and vegetables. So this one, highly, highly recommend. It says there are seven servings per container. It's servings for two. We just finished all, the whole bag together as dinner. All the time, so I got these. Another organic shredded green and red cabbage with carrots. Oh, this is so good. This is the Trader Joe's sweet potato fries. These are so amazing. I put these in the air fryer. They're so good. They taste so, so, so good. The only thing I want to say is that if you usually put your fries in the air fryer for 20 minutes, these actually take less to cook because I think it's sweet potato. It has sugar, so it's easier to burn these. So instead of like cooking them for like 20 minutes or 18 minutes, maybe cook them a little bit like two minutes less. It really depends on your air fryer. But if it usually it takes 20 minutes, then this time you probably need to take like 18 minutes. But these are so good. These are so, so, so good. Highly recommend. I'm not even a huge fan of sweet potato fries, but these are so amazing. Highly recommend these. Trader Joe's broccoli slaw. Highly recommend these as well. The broccoli and the cauliflower kit. Super handy. I love cauliflower and broccoli and I can just put them in the steamer or just boil them. It tastes really good and fresh. Gotta eat vegetables. Oh, these is really good as well. I've tried this before and it tasted really good. This is the Trader Joe's chicken burrito bowl. And honestly, I've never had a chicken burrito bowl from anywhere that's not good, <laughs> to be honest, because I just love burrito bowls. And I got these from Costco before. They're pretty good as well. And this time, I've tried the ones from Trader Joe's once and it was really amazing. So I got this again. This one, it has 10 grams of fat, 22 grams of protein, 51 grams of carbohydrates, uh, 370 calories per box, per bowl. And also when it comes to sodium, it's 630 milligrams, which is not bad for frozen food. So put it right here, bring this to lunchtime. Coconut smoothie. Okay, I bought these last time and I was like, going to try these. It's so precious. I wanted to wait until it's like a special occasion. <laughs> I don't know, like when I go to workout, before workout, after workout, right? Replenish myself. And then one day I open the fridge, it's gone because my husband drank it. So I bought it again. So I don't know if it tastes good. So I asked, I asked my husband, he's like, yeah, it tastes fine. I'm like, describe fine. There are different types of fine. Is it good? Is it okay? Is it like drinkable? Is it creamy is it refreshing it tastes fine so i'm gonna try it again uh, but he's like you can buy it it's not bad i'm like give me more information okay this is why it's heavy i got a milk i was like why is this bag so heavy this is the trader just organic lactose free reduced fat milk um, i'm not lactose intolerant i just thought that lactose free milk they taste a little bit better they taste sweeter that's why got one of those burritos from trader joe's i have tried these before this is one of my favorite burritos from trader joe's this is tender spicy pork black beans cilantro lime brown rice this is probably my favorite the only thing is that it's super high in sodium it's a thousand two hundred milligrams of sodium so definitely don't eat those burritos every single day just eat it on a day when you feel like oh i need a reward or when you sweat a lot in a gym session definitely it's okay to eat a little bit more sodium than normal days because you sweat a lot this is definitely not for every day but it tastes super super good so i 
I'm not gonna restrict myself just based on the nutrition facts. I still want to eat the things I want to eat, but at the same time, I want to read the labels and know what I put in my body. So if I eat this during lunch, I probably won't eat anything with like high sodium for dinner because you know it will be like too much for the day. But if I just eat this and then eat some like sodium free <laughs> coleslaw or like salad mix without like dressing or vegetables or steamed something, then it's probably okay. So this one highly recommend, but still be careful with the soap. We got one Greek non-fat yogurt. I stopped buying those big ones just because like I felt like when I go to work, it's hard to bring the whole big carton of yogurt. I got the organic radish of many colors. So I felt like sometimes if I eat a lot of sodium food, I want to, you know, eat some snacks. Maybe this will be the one to go. The last one is the colorful carrot coins. So these are carrots coins and what I'm going to do is that you can stir fry them but you could also put them in the air fryer. It's probably gonna be super super tasty as well. You can roast them, stir fry them, or you can put them in the air fryer. So I got one of these. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Alrighty! That's it. That's it for today's huge Trader Joe's haul. We spent $159 at Trader Joe's. I felt like for the amount of food that I got, it's definitely a good deal. So $159 for two people for the whole week. Actually, this is gonna carry us beyond this week. We're not gonna eat all of the frozen food in one week. We're probably just gonna pace ourselves at the same time eat some fresh food. We also have some deliveries from HelloFresh. So we're just gonna switch things up. But overall, I had a great time shopping at Trader Joe's today and I had a great time hanging out with you guys and just taking out my food, sharing what I got and haul everything I got from Trader Joe's. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And also subscribe to this channel, ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out. And also check out my other Trader Joe's hauls and other food review videos in this channel. And also other lifestyle content such as morning routines and vlogs and other products reviews. Alrighty, that's it for today. Thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thanks for watching!